Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. This is the first vlog that I've had at home in what seems like forever. So today Larry and I need to do some grocery shopping. <laughs> I said that really weird. So we had a late start to the day. It's currently 3.20. We're just now getting out and about. So we had my mom over earlier today. She watched a film with us, I'm sipping on iced coffee and we have no groceries in the house. So. Ooh, we're gonna do that. I've got Luna playing behind me. Lexi's coming out of the bedroom. And then tomorrow we're actually gonna go to Universal Studios. We had been talking about it and then after everything that's been going on, we just need a fun getaway day with Larry and I. A lot of times when we go to Universal, we usually go with somebody else. So we thought it would be nice just to have like a little like date Universal day. And I'll film it for you guys. Let you guys know how it is at Universal now. But first thing is first, I need to make a grocery list of what we need because when I mean we don't have anything in the house, well, I shouldn't say that. That's over exaggerating. We don't have any fresh produce, so no vegetables, no anything like that. So we need to pick up a few goodies. I need more deodorant and a couple of other things. So I'm going to make my list. I'll take you guys in the store, throw a few things in the cart, and then we'll do like a proper full on haul. And I'm also going to show you guys a couple of things that I ordered from Amazon while I was in Maryland that arrived that I'm excited to use. I tried a couple of the things out already. Shampoo and conditioner, which I loved. It's the Function of Beauty. I picked the lavender scent. I'll go into it with you guys later. But first, we're going to do grocery shopping and pick up some healthy goodies. There's going to be a lot of healthy inspiration in this, things that I have been eating. And so let's get started. got the list it is ready there's a lot on it and we're gonna run out babe are we going to Walmart I prefer Walmart for this one yeah okay all right let's go guys okay really quick outfit of the day we have this Aladdin shirt which I believe is from Target shorts are also I think from Target and then white tennis shoes and my black I forget who makes this. Oh, Steve Madden. Bag. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Hot, 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 hot. What is it? You got bumps on your leg. Bumps? Bumps. What do you mean? All through here. No, mm, just here. Oh. Probably from shaving. Mm. Yeah. Bumps on my legs. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> God. Eh. All right. Here we go to Walmart. Babe, you haven't said hi in a long time. Hi, in a long time. What you been up to while I was gone? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Tell them what you been up to. Uh, cleaning. Doing maintenance on the pool. Mm -hmm. Fix the air conditioning unit. Oh yeah, that broke while we were gone. Well, yeah, Mom and I. Uh, did a lot of yard work, trim bushes, trim trees, pulled weeds. Thank you. This is why you don't wear hair down in the summertime in Florida. <laughs> I don't have that problem. Oh my God, it just keeps blowing right into my chapstick. So you were busy doing all the yard works. Kept busy. We 
I've just gotten back from the grocery store, so I'm going to show you guys what we got. I've just pulled everything out and show you guys what we picked up. Some healthy items, some not so healthy items, and I found some very exciting things that I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, so starting on this countertop, we have salsa. This is from Publix. We have a mixture of Publix and Walmart in this haul. So, medium salsa, honey mustard protein by Second Nature. This is so, so good. You have to try it if you see it. And then pepperoncinis. I go through, no joke, like one of these every two weeks. It's kind of ridiculous, but really good. No salt added tomato sauce. My favorite salad dressing, which is the Ken's Steakhouse Red Wine Vinegar and Olive Oil. Baby Organic Spinach. This one is from Walmart. Uh, mushrooms. Strawberries. Avocados. Lemons. An onion. Bananas. Blueberries. Um, broccoli florets. Sugar Bomb Flavor Rock Tomatoes on the vine. These are one of my favorites. Pete and Jerry's Organic Eggs. They taste different. They're so much better than regular eggs. The Donut Shop Regular Medium Roast Keurig K-Cup 48 Pack. Unsweet Original Almond Milk. My mom discovered this and it is so good. It's avocado salsa with fresh tom tom tomatillos. <laughs> tomatillos. Um, help me out guys. But anyways, really good. An avocado. I think I'm going to make this for dinner tonight and I'll show you guys how I do it. So I bought these spring roll rice wrappers. They're low calorie, gluten free, and then Crab Smart. It's I think it's imitation crab, um, but it's lower carb imitation crab. And then what I'm going to do is run this underwater, get it soft, add a piece of crab, maybe some alfalfa sprout. Oh, dang it. I forgot cucumber. Shucks. Uh, that's also what I was going to add to it. Maybe some mango. I think I have a, no, I don't have any cucumber. Anyways, that was the plan. And some avocado. Maybe that's what I'll do with it. Um, did I go over everything on this side? I think I did. No, I didn't. Um, these were buy one, get one free at Publix. And I got the deluxe mixed nuts. Over here, we have Larry's Cheetos, his hot dog buns. We needed more cleaning scrubbies for dishes, so we got these and this. We found an all-purpose cleaner. This is great value. It was from Walmart. Larry loves these Seagrams. He has one every now and then. This is the strawberry daiquiri flavor. Face masks, Dawn dish soap, on the border Mexican grill cantina cafe style tortilla chip. I have the hardest time finding these. Back in the day, I used to get them all the time and I found them so I snagged them while I can because they're hard to find. Um, Wonder white bread. Larry picked out some chicken noodle soup from Campbell's. Celery, hot dog buns, low sodium bacon, Swiss cheese, extra sharp cheddar. I love extra sharp cheddar. Um, taco seasoning, my favorite deodorant. They didn't have my vanilla coconut one, so I found this one. And quite a few of them at Walmart didn't even have the plastic topper on them. Like, not this bit, but the safety seal on top. They were missing, and they looked melted and destroyed, and they were very odd. But I did find one good one, and it's the powder and cotton scent. Tylenol PM. Over here, we have cinnamon French toast, hearts of romaine, which is probably my favorite salad mixing, just because I like the crunch of romaine lettuce. Um, four chicken pot pies for Larry. Now, this was my exciting snacky snacks that I don't normally get, and I haven't been eating stuff like this, but I saw it, and it's probably because I'm hungry, so I got it. But, um, and they were buy one, get one. So I got two of the chocolates. These are the smaller ones. Chocolate Cheerios. I'm so excited. And then I thought maybe chopping up fresh strawberries on top of it as like a dessert at night would be kind of tasty. We'll see. And then chocolate peanut butter. I love anything chocolate and peanut butter together. So I grabbed them. I really couldn't help myself. So here we are. Larry got some popcorn chicken, more chicken noodle soup. He gets the Raisin Bran Crunch Original. We were in need of some Ziplocs. Um, my favorite peanut butter ever, this natural, creamy, no sugar added peanut butter. Another all-purpose cleaner. And this stuff is great and it smells really nice too. Larry's Peach Propel and I picked up 
a Asiago Romano Alfredo light sauce, which I like to put over broccoli sometimes. So that's everything that we got. So now it is time to put it all away. And then I think I'm gonna make some of those spring wraps for you guys or with you guys. I'll show you how I make them. I haven't had them in a while, so we're due. We're due! Okay, groceries are all put away. Now I'm gonna prep these wraps and I'll show you guys how I make them. All right, so this is what the wraps look like before you wet them. So I'm gonna run it under water first. Okay, and then they'll kind of look something like this. And you just lay it flat. And then I'm gonna take a slice of mango. And I was gonna use avocado, but I didn't have any avocado that was ripe enough, so that kind of failed. Just lay that there. Grab a bit of the bean sprouts, lay that across. And then grab another piece of crab. And sometimes instead of the crab, I'll just use avocado. And you can really just mix and match whatever you would like. And then maybe a little bit of sriracha would be really good too. And then you just kind of fold it over. I mean, it doesn't really have to look pretty. The point is it tastes really good. This one I made a little bit differently. I did the crab bean sprouts and then this avocado salsa, which isn't focusing. But this one's gonna be a little bit more of like a spicy instead of like a sweet kick. Hi, Nexi. What she doing? Say hi. Anyways, Larry and I have just finished dinner. We watched an episode of Game of Thrones. We're rewatching the series. And I forgot that I said that I was going to show you guys what I picked up off of Amazon and then what I ordered from Function of Beauty. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. And then I am going to end this vlog here because we have to get up quite early in the morning tomorrow and we have a very fun day planned. So first, let's start off with Function of Beauty beauty so i've heard a lot about them and i finally decided to purchase their shampoo and conditioner so you can basically it's an online shampoo shopping experience if you want to call it that and you can pick scents the size of the bottles and you can also pick what you want your your shampoo and conditioner to do not sponsored by the way but basically i picked i think shine and I don't know, I picked a couple of things. Um, strengthening and like dry hair and my hair, I washed it with it today and I love it. This, like I love a lathering shampoo and this really lathered and then the conditioner was very conditioning. So I love it, I went with the lightly scented the lavender scent. It's very conditioning. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> The conditioner was silky, okay guys? It was great, I loved it. The conditioner was conditioning. But I went with the lavender scent. I think I'll try the peach scent or maybe by the time I purchase a new one it'll be fall time and they probably won't have that anymore, but loved it. Well, that was funny. Next items are from Amazon and this I saw, I think it was on sale. No, it can't be Amazon. No, 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 Sephora. 
that's where I ordered this from. Okay, I got the Dr. Roebuck Skin Brightening Toner with Witch Hazel, Aloe Vera, and Glycolic Acid because I have a lot of acne scarring, and it's called Lifesaver. And I haven't tried it enough to know. I used it, I'm not in focus. I used it once so far, I just got it. Also picked up this from Sephora, and this is the Daily Correct CC Cream Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 35 by Supergoop in the shade Light. So I used this for the first time yesterday, absolutely loved it. It is very thick though, and very much like a, moist, or, um, a foundation and it gives the most perfect skin, flawless. I'm in shade light, which was even pretty tan for me, so I don't know how people with super fair skin would do. They'd have to do like an extra, extra light. I don't know how many shades there are, but I did notice, like my mom pointed it out to me, because I put it on my face for the first time, and she said that I had like a foundation line on my neck, so this is definitely thick stuff. So then this morning I thought, okay, I'll just add a little bit to my moisturizer. No, no, no. No, 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 it does not mix in with my moisturizer. It separated, I put it on my face, it wouldn't blend, it would. It was awful. So um, I think it's just very thick. I love it though, and I love the sun protection of it, so I am gonna use it because it makes my skin like literally flawless, it's beautiful. I just need to learn how to work with it and bring it down my neck a little bit, which you should put your sunscreen down your neck anyways, but. That's the other thing I purchased, really like it. Show you guys what it actually looks like. There you go. And then when I was in Maryland, my cousin did my nails, my nails. My cousin did my nails and she used the dip powder to do my nails. So that inspired me to purchase a nail kit and I ordered the gel nail polish kit. I will try and find it and link it down below for you guys so you guys can see. And then it also came with like the professional lights where you stick your nails under. Haven't used it yet, have no idea how it is, but we'll see. And then it came with really pretty nude colors. And then I also ordered an eyelash brush on Amazon so that when I put on my mascara, I can like blink, 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 and it takes off the extra excess mascara see how that goes I don't know what this is let's see oh these are the colors except oh I don't know this is very interesting gel polish color gel okay I don't know so it looks like we have sparkly ones and then like these nude colors which will probably be my favorite a pretty bright pink and then these look like glitters not really sure but I'll let you guys know how that goes once I try that out. And then it came with the gel base coat and then the gel top coat. Base foundation. Hi, Lex. And then the matte top gel coat. And then what's this one? The top it off top gel I have no idea anyways let me know if you guys want me to do a video where I actually try this out I'll let you guys know how it works out I'm hoping that I get the same effects that I would if I was going to go to a nail salon and get my gel gel nail polish and it lasts for two weeks that's what I'm hoping for that would be amazing but we will see and then they send you like nail clippers file um cuticle oil all sorts of stuff just whack myself in the face with it but yeah, so those are the things that I ordered while I was in Maryland, and yeah. So I wanted to share that with you guys, and I am going to end this vlog here. I'm going to start editing this video and um, get it up for you guys Wednesday because I'm going to be gone all day on Tuesday, and I won't be able to edit, and I want you guys to have a vlog to watch. So anyways, it's very nice to be back, back to filming, being back home and I want to thank you guys so much for being there for me and waiting for me. I usually upload three videos a week and I've only done I think two in the last two weeks uh, just because of everything that was going on but thank you for all your love, your support and your kind messages. They mean the world to me and I am back and regular videos will resume. So I think I'm going to do like a Monday, Wednesday, Saturday type schedule. So 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mm. Ooh, I can't, can't really see. No, it's not that. It's the height of the box. And that might, that might make it look good. This is way too high. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. Why do I look so orange? Why? I'm not that orange. That's too high, darling. Ooh. You can do it. And we're just now getting out of out. Can't see what I'm filming. There we go. That's not bad. All right. All right. So spring rail rails. No. All right. So my spring rails rails. Jesus. <laughs> Spring rolls. My spring rolls. I feel like speaking of, I feel like I might have some spring roll alfalfa sprouts in my teeth. <laughs>